G'day, I'm here at Oxford University with a really smart guy, uh, John Dean O'Keefe. What we're talking about today is imposter syndrome. So imposter syndrome, well, what are we saying here? We've got low self-confidence. And let's be incredibly frank about this. Everybody has it to a greater or lesser extent. Guess what helps with that? Knowing your stuff and practice. Mm. It's amazing how people are like, oh my God, I feel such a fraud at work. And then five years later, no, okay. You know, because these things happen over time. I mean, yeah. the idea, of course, is not to be going in so utterly frightened and so dejected and so demoralized with yourself. So you do need to start off at a certain level. And some people do have serious problems going into work. They can have all the degrees in the world, all the training, and they'll never feel right. And sadly, some of those people never feel right. But even with those people, they can be better and they can be better actually, as you know very well from all the work you've done over the years, they can be much better with doing very small things. I shouldn't really say this, but you need to understand that when you go into a job or for instance, when I'm giving a lecture, the great news is nobody really knows anything compared to me. Yep. And when you're giving a presentation at work, you've actually been working on that, they haven't. Oh, can you legislate for the smart question from the back? No, you can't, but hey, there are ways to handle that as well.